In this screencast, I will cover the process of adding users using PAM to OpenVPN Access Server. Now, the first thing we will do is open up our SSH client. In this case, I'm using PuTTY, which is a free SSH client for Windows. I'm now going to connect up to my OpenVPN AS server through the Linux terminal. Now, in order to add users using PAM and OpenVPN AS, you need to make sure you have access to your Linux terminal. And in this case, we'll be accessing it through SSH. And give one sec while it logs in. Okay, we're now at the prompt, and the command you need to use to add a user is add user, followed by a space, and then the name, the desired name for your username. And in my case, I will do lab1. Now I need to supply a password for that user, so I will do passw space lab1. And it now wants me to add a password for lab1, and I'll just do testing. It'll ask me to confirm, and I'll do testing. Okay, and now for uh, so I can show you what it looks like in the ab and UI, I'll add another user. So I'll do add user, lab2, password, PASSW space lab2, and I'll do testing again as a password. You might want to use stronger passwords on your users. This is just for testing and demonstration purposes. Okay, we'll now head over to the client UI of the OpenVPN Access Server, and we will log in with one of the users we just created, Lab1, password testing, and it'll show you right here, the default profile is now available for the Lab1 user, so you could download this and connect up if you wanted to. Now I'm going to log into the app and UI and show you the advanced user permissions that only OpenVPN AS will recognize. And I'm going to log in with my root credentials. Okay, so now we want to navigate over to the user permissions page in our admin UI. And in order for OpenVPN AS to see that these users do exist, we want to do lab1. And I'll give lab1 an auto login process. Save settings. And then we'll add lab2. Save settings. Okay, so now you can see that Lab 1 and Lab 2 are both showing up here. Now, if we logged in under the client UI again, but with our root credentials, I'll log out of here first, you will see the table, it'll show all the users on here. So, if you want to add permissions, let's say we want to add a static IP to that user. First you want to make sure that you have a static subnet set up, which you would configure right here. 24 NetMask, save settings, update running server, and our user permissions, let's go to lab2, click show, and since we did a 10.9 subnet, we'll put a 10.9.0.2 as the static IP we would like assigned to this user. We click Save Settings. Now that user, whenever they log into the VPN, they will log in with a static IP assigned to their username. Now these are just just an example of a couple different options you can you can use in the advanced user permissions on OpenVPN AS, but. Uh, Simply, if you just want to give that user basic access to the VPN, you don't even need to access the admin UI. You can just go ahead and add the user through the Linux terminal like we did earlier. And this concludes the screencast for adding users using PAM to OpenVPN AS. I will talk to you on support.